Robotiers, stand by. In the control post, together, Wasp there on the left, team captain Rob Williams and Brutus Maximus, led by Joel Justino on the right. And the bearded Ian Lewis, captain of the champions, Razor on the left, Raging Reality, captained by Nigel Padgett on the right. There's a killer lot of the house robots in the arena with the Crusher and Sergeant Bash and the Flamethrower. Three, two, one, activate. What a dramatic way to start heat one of the sick wars with the reigning champions. Razor there at the bottom of your picture, turning to have a go at Brutus Maximus, but chased into the corner by Raging Reality, getting away, spinning once again into the safety of the arena centre. There, the big ponderous machine, Brutus Maximus, and taking on Razor once again, and Razor trying to get in there on one of the tyres, and what was that being flipped? Wasp went into the air, but look at Razor crushing in here on the tyres of Brutus Maximus, which surely has not long left to survive. Seem to be deflated. There's the team captain of Brutus Maximus trying to get more out of his boys, Julia Steiner. Wasp is on its size. Now Razor trying to take on Raging Reality. Back comes Brutus Maximus. Only two survived this first melee. Wasp seems to be out of it. Razor pushing against Raging Reality, which is now caught between a rock and a hard place. In other words, between Razor and Sergeant Bash. But he's still trying to gain momentum. Brutus Maximus, we saw there, is still alive. Just trundling through the top of the picture, but Razor has control and a clutch on Raging Reality. And once again, going for the vulnerable spot. The tyres with the crushing beat. Just saw there the back of Vinnie Blood's balding head there in the control pod. Sergeant Bash looks on, so does the ref pod. Brutus Maximus, a little bit lopsided, but still trundling. Razor's had a go at all of them, it seems to me. Where's Wasp in all this? Oh, overturn. Over and out. Over to you, Sir Killalot, I would have thought for the Wasp boys. We know there's no sting in there. And we know the end of the tail is nigh for Wasp. Buzz off and out of here. And fly, fly away to fight another day. It looks gruesome. Now there's Raging Reality and a little flip from them on Brutus Maximus. Razor had a look. Brutus Maximus. Can they overturn? Wasp, we know, is finished. Oh, look at the shredding, though. Of that drill. And there's the pit release button. Down goes the pit. That's been activated out there on the arena. And they want someone to go down in the pit. You see the sparks from the arena side walls there? Another one of our weapons. And now you can see Razor in on those bicycle wheels we were telling you about. All along, that was going to be a weak link for Brutus Maximus. So Killalot also has a little bit of a feel and a grope. Very unpleasant to think about. So is that washing machine suspended above the arena. It's the ultimate of the arena weapons, the drop zone. More on that later in a wheel. Goes into the pit of oblivion. Off Brutus Maximus. Three wheels left on their wagon. And they know where their journey's going to end. Well, on the flame pit right now. So burnt bicycle wheels. Come into the arena with wooden bicycle wheels and petrol driven. What were they thinking about? And the ref bot is thinking about the count of Brutus Maximus from Bradford are heading out. Smiles on their faces, 10 on the clock. They're out, says the crowd. Gone from the sixth robot wars battles in this first heat. The mayhem, though, goes on. Razor on Wasp. Down comes that great crushing. You see the holes there? Drilled in Razor. That is to cut down on the amount of weight they have in the arena. Up comes Brutus Maximus and they're long gone. Raging Reality tossed them out of the arena. I like Raging Reality slippy enough. Seat is caught. Wasp counted out. Rob Williams, Edward Kelly and Chris Ford. You've gone. And we know now the team's through. Raging Reality and the reigning champions, Razor. What a way to start the new world.